Hey everybody, today we're just going to do a Warcry deck. I haven't touched these in a long time. A lot of things have changed. I'm trying to, I finally have Roach, so I'm playing around with that. Uh, some of the major changes though, outside of that, were we got some first lights instead of blizzard potions. When the Nilfgaard patch happened, I was experimenting with blizzard potion. Blizzard potion's not that great, because you can just first light. Weather's not all that present, and weather's not all that abusive. Unless you're up against, like, somebody who has an Aeromancy and their Scoia'tael. Blue Boy Lugos is just a really strong melee card. We're really going to be playing Champion of Champions on the uh, range row. One of the problems with this deck is that it's weak against Nilfgaard, because Nilfgaard can fill the range row with spies, and spies stop the uh, Champion of Champions from going off. So without further ado, we're going to do some matches. Onward! Attack! I have explored this deck type before, but I actually fate. lost to it in ranked, so I wanted to uh, experiment with it. You might notice that my ranking has gone down a bit. Uh, that's due to a few factors, really. Uh, we can push out one of these. Okay. We had a pretty good hand. I'm happy with it, really. Now, if my opponent kills this, it's fine. I'm going to put it onto the range row. We don't have a real way to unlock it. Every tenth round. Okay. We can kill that before he uh, uses Reaper Scouts on it. Are you certain? I do it differently. Okay. Uh, we're going to play this. I can help you if you wish. That's actually one weakness is having this in here. So we're going to pass out the uh, Raging Berserker. Uh, actually, the Berserkers are great. So we're going to push out the First Light and then the Crop and Crate Warrior then. We actually want to get hit. Okay. We don't have a way to unlock Come that right now. Get ya. That's okay for us to get hit. Well, if he kills it, that's fine. That made it really amusing. Okay. We want we want him using stuff like that to, uh, and now we can now play this. It's way over him. He, uh, I know he wants to copy something with a... Close ranks! Which is really weird. Not your lucky day. We don't mind that Roach has come back. He's probably gonna use his own adrenaline rush here. But we're broke as shit peddlers! I'm not exactly sure why he's trying to kill that. Uh, well, we're going to keep this. We don't mind. My opponent's going to have to press me pretty hard to win. Even if they win, it's not going to be a big deal. 
And boop. So they win this round, so what? They have to play another card. If they play the card, then they kind of screw them over. You best yield now. So I assume he's buffing stuff, which will win him around. Which is fine. Gives my stuff uh, stuff some more buffs. I could have uh, kept the adrenaline rush. It wouldn't hurt me too much. I'm playing against a deck that's similar to some of the decks I played. So I can just pass cleanly in the next round. I should have probably kept the adrenaline rush then. Yeah. And I'm gonna pass. Because there's no way my opponent's gonna win with uh, two cards. And I pass. And he passes. And we go. He's gonna have to play pretty tough to win against uh, my full lineup in the next round. Yeah, I got that, which is great. So we're going to revive. What do you need? Good old truck and crate warrior. No, oh, well, I can't change my mind now. Well, but fire and iron. I'm an officer and a gentleman. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. I wonder if I should go with the uh, Raging Bear or the Ooh. Lose one strength? We'll make them uneven. We'll greet a move But fire and iron. This will make them uneven, so it'll make it a little easier to win this last round. So then we double their strength. This. Even if he has an Igni, he can't win. Boom. I don't think he can win if he has an Igni. A decoy. You sweat like a swine in that jacket. Oh, that's actually quite good. We get that. Let's see what he gets. What do you want of me? I actually a lot of points, but it's not enough to win. Good game. They buffed Wounding Skellige a lot, and it's actually surprising that we don't see so much of it on the ladder. You want peace? Fight for it. For Skellige's glory! Eh, just a low MMR player. Okay, we're gonna push out one Raging Berserker. We'll push out one Croc and Crate Warrior, and we'll push out Roach. You always seem to get Roach in this deck. We'll open with a. Uh, we'll open with this. But the heart will not great. Because those things get more value the longer the game goes. I told you so, you idiot. Okay. We're now going to play Ermian. God's protect us. Okay, and we're going to discard this guy and this guy. Wow, that one's a good card to have. We can live without it. Now we can easily play a first light and it's safe. Famous last words right there. Yeah. Modern Freyr is patient, but I'm she gonna brooks this no one insult. It's a good target for. Uh, the little guys to hit ping. Okay. Let's show him what real art is. We'll follow you always into the fair. Get him a little less value.
Maybe I should have done the uh, cleaver sooner. Yield now. Sweat like a swine in that jacket. If he plays the uh, medic, the field medic now, he doesn't have something to reverse scout later. So I can just play this round to lose. The semblance of power don't interest And that's what me. my plan is, is just to play this round to lose. I don't mind my opponent playing all their cards this round. We shall do it, may we? Well, I want the champion of champions. So I'm gonna play that. we pass. We don't mind losing something. Losing the first round. We got three cards. We have card advantage, right? I still don't know what... Okay. We don't mind losing that one card advantage we have. Because... That card would be dead in our hands otherwise. We don't have another way to discard it. So we're going to start off with uh, good old Raging Berserker. Oh, I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. He's gonna revive uh, Dandelion. Yes, I do it no, he's gonna do the uh, as many cards as he possibly can play in one round me? strategy. This is all fine with me because I am playing a deck that counters this strategy quite hard. Destroy! Thank you. He doesn't have another Geralt Igni, so I don't have to carry it, worry about that. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Uh, we'll play that. We'll follow you always into the fire. Actually, it would have been better to play the other one, since I know I'm going to get damage anyways. What do you want of me? Play. Uh, can he target anything with that? No, he can't. All right. So we're going to uh, pick up. Uh, I think Cleaver would be the, for the best here. I'm a dwarf of business. We don't need him getting any value from that. Salutations. Okay, and we end this game off with a good old war cry. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on. You could at least no. Amir Var Emrys. They do not call me. The patient. Okay, we're up against a rank 15 uh, Dagon player. We're going to make sure that we keep any clear weathers that we get in our hand and save them for the inevitable uh, use of certain cards. Uh, we're going to drop the Raging Berserker. Uh, we're going to drop the Azure's Thunder. And then we'll drop the Roach. It's our last card. Gonna start off with playing good old uh, Champion of Champions. We'll follow up with a Blue Boy Lugos, probably. Okay, Blue Boy Lugos is gonna be great here. For the class. Now let's hope our For opponent doesn't have a uh, Scorch.
That's fine. We're gonna now play this. We shall do it my way. We're gonna take the Raging Berserker. We're gonna play our Raging Berserkers. We should expect weather of some kind. We want to get those out of there as soon as possible. We're all dressed up just for you. Now he has one of them in his hand. Now he has a lot of muster in this deck, so we should expect the muster. Okay. We're going to continue to save our uh, any cards that we have. We'll follow you we don't want to lose. Into the fire. We're probably going to play uh, War Cry soon. Since we don't have a... Yeah. I'm surprised we don't have a way to uh, self-proc the Champion of Champions in this deck. That's probably because of my, one of the mistakes I made. Okay. Now he can play a Geralt Igni on this, or a Scorch, period. All would be really good, so that was probably a mistake on my part. But it does put me ahead. We want to win this round, because we're going to have a huge, 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 huge. Uh, I don't have the archers. I'm going to have to add the archers back. Interesting. To eat that one. He's gonna keep the uh, toad. Yeah, he's gonna keep the toad. He gets his eleven strength. Playing the uh, weather might have been better. We're going to play a. Uh, we don't have anything to revive, so we're not going to play the weather. Uh, I suppose. Should have probably played this sooner. Okay. And now we're going to play Clear Skies. We're still ahead of my opponent. You will see it. Dream. Okay. We're going to pass. Politely. My opponent will have to play a lot to get ahead. I might have to play an Igni to get ahead, actually. Okay. And they're going to keep 11 strength unit on the board. That's fine. They've used their Dagon leader ability to play Biting Frost, which is ideal. Okay. We're going to start off with Restore. And we're going to restore our Champion of Champions over here. And then do an Ermia. Okay. We're going to discard the Raging Berserker and the uh, Clan on Warrior. Which is fine. We could have done the uh, Clear Weather. But that's I'm gonna pop out a little guy. I'm going to now flush out more cards from my deck. Bow before modern Freya. I'm gonna get as many of these as we can. We agreed to well, but fire and iron. We're now going to lock that so that he can't use it. It's slowing him down is the important is part. And mother and crone. We'll greet him with a fire and iron. If he uses a Geralt Igni on us, then he's still having a lot to catch up on. Okay. 
Okay, and now we end with a uh, war cry. Now I assume his last card is a Geralt Igni. Okay, and we are also gaining strength every turn, so so he eats everything in the graveyard. Comes a big thing. Twelve, yeah, and we win. And though that's how you beat a level uh, rank 15 player, by the way. That was a good game, I think. Yeah. It's just that the champion... Nobody's really playing around champion of champions. I think the tweaks I'm going to make to the deck are... Uh, yeah. Right, I'm probably going to take out Roach, just because Roach um, sabotages Champion of Champions. I might take out one of these guys for a... Uh, not for that. Uh, for one of the archers. Uh... I think the Azure Thunder is a necessary card just in case you run into a card you absolutely have to um, shoot. We put put Grimace here. Um, where is he? He's in silver. Because Grimace can uh, activate the um, Champion of Champions for me. So that I can use uh, Warcry on it. Now, of course, using Warcry on Champion of Champions is kind of excessive. But when you pull it off, it's hilarious. Uh, you actually... Mm. Mm. Well, you're always going to have Clan on Crate Warriors. Because you're playing Croc on Crate. So arguably, you could just take these out and put in... One more archer, and one more of the teddy bears. They're six strength, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And you'd be fine. And I think that's one way I'm going to play the deck in the future.